I just didn't feel well. What happened to your face? Nothing. That's not nothing. Move your hands. Did Max do this to you? Please don't freak out and don't tell my mom. She won't understand. She won't understand? I don't understand. I hope you dumped him. He's not a bad guy. It was my fault. I made him angry. He didn't mean to. He apologized so many times. He even sent me flowers. I feel like such a jerk. I don't know what happened. That's because you punched a girl. She just made me so mad. We've only been out a couple times. I didn't know we were exclusive. And I didn't punch her. I meant to push her off me. Regardless of how it happened, what you did was not okay. No matter how you look at it. I know. I know. I just, I don't know how to fix it. I mean, I was just talking to her and then Jane went all crazy. You need to make sure it doesn't happen again. And sending flowers doesn't cut it. But I really do like Jane. Then you need to think of how she feels. Maybe we should talk to somebody. I think we should. It's that I get to see Zac Efron shirtless and greasy. <laughs> okay. Who is that? Uh, uh, no one, just a sister's friend. Okay. Is that her again? No, it's just a Snapchat. Don't worry about it. Just if watch there's nothing, let me see your phone. Give me back my phone. Why would she send you something like this? What's going on between the two of you? Nothing. I told you it's just a sister's friend. This looks like more than a friend to me. You know what? If you believed me, you wouldn't take my phone. I did believe you. <laughs> Why would you do that? You are embarrassing me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to.
I believed in true love. And Beauty and the Beast was my favorite movie. It showed me that not everything on the outside is always what it seems. And not everyone is who they appear to be. The Beast Row showed me that beauty isn't only on the outside. When I met Sam, I thought I had proved that true love really does exist. It wasn't just that he was tall and handsome with hazel eyes. He was a genuinely good and charming person. He treated me in a way I'd never been treated before. He bought me roses one day. They were beautiful, red, and full of life. I always waited for the next time he'd get me roses. He didn't get them for me because it was my birthday or any other special day. He just got them, and I loved him for it. We had many great memories, like riding his bike together or just watching my favorite movies. We did everything together for a year. Homework, family trips, planning our futures, like which college we were going to go to, <laughs> even the color of our future bedroom. Sam knew everything about me, things I never even knew about myself. I was madly and completely in love with him. He was the best thing that could have ever happened to me, until he wasn't. I didn't notice the changes at first. Where are you going? Why are you wearing makeup? I ignored him, not really thinking much of it. Eventually, I realized our relationship had completely changed. I woke up one morning, sore and bruised all over, and he, he had done this to me. But he got me flowers, so I knew he was sorry. He had to be, until it happened again. And as usual, I got flowers. But it was all different. I was afraid of the person I had come to love. But I couldn't leave him. I was afraid. He had to love me. He was sorry. I got flowers today. And not just from him, but from all of my friends and family. They came to see me one last time. He apologized. She just made me so angry. Why did she have to do that? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I loved him, I couldn't leave him. I, I wish, wish I, I could, could go, go back. back. Carry on to love your strength is gone. Carry. 